Has Camilla ever looked more stunning? Experts claim that the queen's radiant makeup was a masterclass in timeless glamour. Queen Camilla made a captivating appearance at the state banquet held at the Palace of Versailles, donning an elegant navy dewar gown with a striking statement cape. It was arguably her most fashion-forward look to date, and according to beauty experts, she exuded an air of timeless glamour and sophistication with her bold makeup. The 76-year-old queen looked absolutely resplendent in her floor-length dress, paying homage to her host country with the French fashion house creation. She adorned herself with some of the most dazzling gems from the royal collection, a touching tribute to her late mother-in-law, Queen Elizabeth. The necklace and earrings were part of the George V.I. Sapphire collection, which had been placed in the royal vault. These precious gems were originally given to the late queen as a wedding gift from her father. Makeup artist Lisa Little praised the queen's makeup, stating that it enhanced her sophisticated appearance and added a further touch of elegance. According to Lisa, Queen Camilla's makeup at the state banquet in Versailles last night exuded an air of timeless glamour and sophistication. Her choice of makeup perfectly complemented her features and enhanced her natural beauty. Lisa continued to describe the makeup details, highlighting that Queen Camilla's skin appeared flawless and radiant thanks to a luminous foundation that provided a smooth and even base. A subtle hint of blush added warmth to her cheeks, giving her a healthy and youthful glow. The focus of her makeup look was her eyes. She opted for a classic approach with a neutral-toned eyeshadow palette that beautifully accentuated her eye color. Delicately applied eyeliner defined her eyes, while voluminous lashes added a touch of drama and allure. The overall effect was captivating and elegant. Lisa also noted that the queen's bold eye makeup was further accentuated by impeccably groomed eyebrows, which framed her face and added structure to her overall appearance. Her lips were soft with a sophisticated berry hue. The lip color was perfectly balanced. The result was a polished and refined lip look that completed her overall look. Lisa said. In summary, Queen Camilla's makeup was hailed as a masterclass in timeless glamour. From her flawless complexion to her perfectly defined eyes and lips, her regal elegance was on full display at the state banquet in Versailles. As Queen Camilla exuded glamour in her evening gown, she formed an Anglo-French fashion alliance with France's First Lady, Bridget Macron, who also chose a navy Dior gown for the occasion. The evening saw a powerful duo on the red carpet as Queen Camilla and Bridget Macron joined Mr. Macron and King Charles for the state banquet. The French First Lady even assisted Queen Camilla by adjusting her bold navy cape as they entered the palace. The banquet featured an array of exclusive guests, including Hollywood actor Hugh Grant, and the menu included lobster, crab, and 30-month-aged Conti cheese. Earlier in the day, upon arriving in France, Queen Camilla paid tribute to British designers by wearing a stunning pink coat dress by Fiona Clare, while Bridget chose a chic St. Laurent navy suit with anchor button detailing. However, for the Palace of Versailles event, the pair coordinated their outfits, although they remained distinct from each other. Both outfits were designed to highlight the royal collection's most dazzling jewels, including the sapphire necklace, bracelet, and earrings given to the late queen by her father, George Vlai as her wedding present. Among the celebrity guests were Mick Jagger's partner, Melanie Hamrick, who chose a London designer Jenny Packham outfit, and actress Charlotte Gainsbourg, who opted for St. Laurent. This choice was natural for Charlotte, as she is the face of St. Laurent's new campaign. Photographs from inside the palace provided a glimpse into the final preparations for the state banquet. French President Emmanuel Macron's office noted that the dinner echoed the state visit of Queen Elizabeth Theo in 1972, when she was welcomed to the palace by President Georges Pompidou. The Hall of Mirrors, usually filled with tourists, was closed to visitors on this occasion as staff prepared for the royal banquet. The photographs showed the Hall of Mirrors adorned with banquet tables, crystal glasses, beautiful china, and polished silverware. Workers were seen adding the final touches to the table settings as guests started to arrive. High-profile attendees like Hugh Grant and Mick Jagger graced the event. King Charles' visit added another chapter to the long history of the palace, 
which has witnessed significant events from the reign of King Louis XIA to the French Revolution and into modern times. The palace now boasts a newly opened gallery of the history of the palace on its ground floor, presenting the complex history of the palace to visitors from around the world. Catherine Pigard, president of the Palace of Versailles, celebrated the palace's never-ending story and its ability to engage with visitors of all backgrounds. The newly opened gallery features 11 thematic and largely chronological rooms, displaying over 120 works to provide a comprehensive understanding of the palace's history, including works that have been in storage for years and others that have been repositioned and enhanced. Dear friend, if you like everything new about the royal family and don't want to miss all the novelties, subscribe to our channel and like it. By doing so, you take part in our development. We work for you.